welcome Sunday prophetic Mother's Day service. I'm going to read from the book of Second Timoth 1 from from verse 1, yes. Second Timoth chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord is good. The Bible is saying, Poor apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve, from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of the tears, that I, I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the un, unfeigned faith that is in, the, in thee, which dwelt first in the grandmother's Louise and the mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee, also, we thank God. This is Paul recognized two women. This is this is Paul, Apostle Paul, who one day who one day told the women beside us. This is Apostle Paul. His message somewhere in the scripture. He was warning women. He was telling women, mothers, shyness in the church. That's why his message has made has made so many women in the churches in, in, to be bondage. Some churches, they don't allow women to be a pastor. They don't allow women to speak. They make the, his, some of his message, the message of Paul, the, some of his message where he warned the women, he told women, women silence. Some churches, they, 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 they took advantage to use it as a weapon for women. That's why women are being treated like second, second class. You find that women are not being respected. Mothers are not respected. But here is the same, same Paul. As the scripture says, he thanks, he prayed day and night with the tears and thank God. And thank God of, of, of Timoth. He says, my dear son Timoth, I thank God for you. And they mentioned, he prayed, he thanks the mothers, the grandmother and the, and the mother of Timoth. The mothers. He recognized two women. Paul, Apostle Paul. He recognized the grandmother Louis and the, and, the, and the mother Eunice. Because these women, they trained their son properly. This woman, the grandmother was training her, grand, her grandson properly. Her, ma her mother also, his mother also was training her properly. So we find that the training of the mother is very important. You see that that's the scripture says, the same Paul who recognized women, the women, and it's the same Paul appointed some women apostles. In the midst of, G, of, of Paul, Paul used women more, even writing letters to, to, to the church to receive women. So when Paul mentioned women, silence in the church, it was particularly Paul that time when he was teaching. It didn't mean that women are not allowed to speak in the church or to preach. He was, he was talking that particularly that time. So mothers, mothers are very important. They are the... the the, the mother, they are the mothers who carries all the men you see around the world. It is the home of the mothers that carry them. 
Now the mothers, some mothers are being beaten to death. Some mothers are mistreated. Some, some, some mothers, they don't, they are, no one even appreciated them. Even their own children, no, they will never appreciate it. Mother, thank you. Some of you who their mother are alive, appreciate God, kiss them, hug them, appreciate them. Some of us, myself, I was grown by my sister because I didn't get my mother. I didn't get a chance to see him, to, 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 to be with her. I, I, was, I was raised up by my sister. So I thank, I thank, I thank my mother because even if I, I didn't see her, she was the one who brought me in this world. So I have to thank her. And I say, my mother, I know you are not wherever you are. But I know she died and she's a Christian. She went, she, she went she's in the Lord, with, with the Lord. So I know she went, she's in heaven. Wherever she is, her spirit is safe. Because I was, I was told she got saved and she, she loves God. Therefore, I know that God, God will serve. You see, Paul is saying that the father of our forefathers, I thank you. You see what Paul is saying here? Paul is saying that, first four. Let's look at first three. Paul is saying, I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers day and night. Greatly desiring to see thee being mindful of, 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 their, of the tears that I may be fulfilled with joy. When I call to remembrance the un, un, unfainted, unfainted faith that is in thee, that is in you, that is Timoth, which dwelleth first in the grandmother, Louise. You know, poor as recovery, that, that faith, that, that something that is that is in the mother, the mother, the grandmother, and the and the mother. Paul is recognized these two two ladies, two mothers. May God recognize you today. May Almighty God recognize you. If nobody is recognizing you, may the Lord of our Lord Jesus, our God of our forefather, to recognize you, to announce you. May the God of Elijah announce you today. May God of Elijah favor you. May the Lord favor you today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God Almighty will favor you and your name will come up to be a favored. May your name be favored. May your, may your name be favored like Louise and Eunice, my God and my Father. Mothers, may you be remembered by God. Mothers, single mothers, widows, mothers who have been rejected, this is your word. The God has remembered you. Like, like the way he remembered Anna. Anna was a barren. She didn't have a child. She, she, she was praying like you. She was being mocked by co-wives. Like the same way you have been mocked. Your people are laughing at you. They spit on you. They gossip you. The God of Elijah, God of our forefathers has, has remembered you. Receive favor of God. God has wept your tears. You will get a baby. In, from now, from now, in the next nine months, if you are married and you have no child, you will have your baby in, with your two hands. If you are not married, within nine months from now, you will be married. If you, if you have not been recognized, within next nine months, your name will come up, you will be recognized. Even at the workplace. Men of you who are looking for husband, who are looking for a husband, I'm talking to single mothers, widows, who are, who are single, who have no husband, this is your time. Men of you are going to get married. In the next nine months, Many of you are going to get all over the world, wherever will hear these videos. 
This is the second time I'm repeating. Even Friday, I repeat the same thing. This is, this is the word from the Holy Spirit. God gave me this word. To tell you, within next nine months, some of you will be married. Wedding is coming. The wedding is coming. I have seen wedding. I've seen ring. I've seen the ring in, the, the ring in your fingers. Therefore, I pray that you receive the marriage. Receive your children. Receive babies like Anna. God will favor you. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah has come to visit you. He will open your home and the baby will start coming. Not even one. Some of you get twins. I see a lot of twins. Most of you get twins, not one. God has heard your cry. It is your time that God has favored you. Look at what happened to, to the, the, the woman called Elizabeth. Elizabeth was aged. She was aged. She gave birth at the, age, at the old age. Mary. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Elizabeth. Sarah. Sarah, the, the, the wife of Abraham, give, give birth the, the, the old age. So it doesn't matter. God will visit you. For sure, if you are looking for a baby, if you are looking for a child, there is no woman who is barren. God has opened your womb and you will get a baby. Don't worry about your age. You will hold your baby. Remember to call me to, to celebrate with you. I, I have a gift and God is my witness. People who follow me, people who come to our prayer meeting, they are my witness. I'm not the only one. There is witness. And they saw it. What happened? Therefore, I pray that women, mothers, may God lift you up and bring you up and promote you to be a leader, to be a leader of tomorrow. May God lift your, you up, your name to be up. You, get, you become a leader, director, manager, managing debt director, prime minister, ministers, president, in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, some of the women will be, will be the leaders. They will be luring men. We've been treated so badly, and it is us, women, who take care of, the, of, 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 of them. Look at what the mother of Moses did. He broke the law. When Pharaoh said he's going to kill all Hebrew boys, the mother of Moses said, no way, I don't care. My son is not going to be, to be killed. My son will not die. The mother decided to risk the child and put the child on the water. And then she watched with, this, with, her, with, her, with her daughter to watch what is going to happen with the child. And God prepared the daughters of Pharaoh to come and rescue the son. Look at that. So the mother, they, they are the ones who take risk for their babies, for their children. Therefore, we honor the mother. We pray that God Almighty, may he honor the mother. May he bless the mother. May he protect them. May, he, may you receive respect. The respect that has been, you've been looking for. May you receive the one who loves you. You've been looking somebody to love you. You have, you have not been loved. You have been in the marriage. Your husband never loved you. He better go to love at strange women than you. That is, that is, that is, that is spirit, spirit husband, spirit wife. That has taken your place. May that spirit husband and spirit wife die in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray. Masinigan prayer plate. I'm going to pray for you. Toast anybody, uh, uh, mothers that have been married, but they, they don't have love. Nobody loves them. Mothers who their marriage are, 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 are at risk. I am praying for you. Single mothers and widows, all the mothers, I pray that let your marriage be restored. Let you, you have peace in the house in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that, that God will deliver you. I am praying for evil marriages. Every marriage is deep subject. It affects many people from our spiritual research 
and the, and 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 what we found out, we have we have gathered several of 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 of, uh, of the message about these uh, uh, marriages. I know that the marriages they are at risk. So many 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 homes they are break up because of the spirit the husband has entered. So therefore, mothers, I pray for you that your marriage will be saved. Your marriage will be delivered. No strange woman, no other demon from the world of kingdom of darkness that will steal your marriage. Spirit, mar spirit, 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 husband, spirit, wife that coming to destroy your marriage shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Many women suffer from asno sex regularly. Asno sex is the ability of protection, protect one spirit man into the victim's body and have intercourse with it. This is practice is very common among Satanists. They leave their physical body and domin dominate, leave their physical body into the, the state where they protect their spirit and the body of whoever they want to have sex with. Therefore, I am going to pray for you. I know that God is able to deliver you, to deliver women, so that this demon of Asno, that, that is the protection, Asno protection, Satanists who come to, to, to have sex or intercourse with you, they shall die. You will never have that problem again. You will never have spirit husband to come and torment you. This is affecting so many women. Mothers are being affected so much like that. Therefore, I pray that God will deliver you. I break, I command spirit husband. I command demon of asno, asno protection. I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, my father. I pray that God Almighty, every spirit, wife, spirit, husband, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Every, everything you have, everything it has been deposit, deposited in your life. I command them to come out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that is working against your marriage. I command them to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Women, mothers should be happy with their family and take care of children. No single mothers. Because the Bible says two will be, it is not good for one to be, to be alone. So God created partner. God is, God is Christian, original. God created a man and a woman. Two, there is no way that you can live single. It's not your wish. It's not your willing. It's because of spirit husband. That has taken place of your, your really husband. Therefore, I'm praying to you. Every power that is working against your marriage, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. I divorce and renounce your marriage with the spirit of the husband or wife in the name of Jesus Christ. I am commanding them. I divorce them and renounce them to get out of your life. I cancel their marriage. I cancel their marriage right now. I break all covenant entered into your spirit, into with the spirit, with the spirit the husband or wife in the name of Jesus. I am praying, I am praying for you. Many women, many mothers, they are a single mother. They don't, they, they don't know why. Nobody is interested with them. I am breaking every covenant entered in, into you, into you with the spirit, the husband or wife. In the name of Jesus. There are some, they change themselves, they have two organs. They are men and women. Male and female. That is spirit, I break them, I destroy them in Jesus' name. I command the thunder fire of God to pan to ashes. The wedding gown, ring, photograph, and all other materials used for the marriage. You've been married in the world, in the satanic world. You've been given a ring. They have married you. They have married you in the spirit realm. So you are married. You think you are single. You are not single. You are married. I destroyed that spirit husband. The satanic marriage I destroyed. That ring I command them to catch fire. Remove the ring from your finger and throw it to the fire. 
Remove it and say, I throw this ring by faith in the name of Jesus. Set that ring in your, fa in your fingers. I command them to be destroyed and burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. Even the gown, they have married you in the spiritual world. I command that gown to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Photographs they have taken you in the, in, the, in the spiritual world. I burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. I praise the spirit, the, 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 the really man. I, I replace physical marriage from the throne of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I set the fire of God to burn to ashes the marriage certificate in the name of Jesus. Every marriage certificate they have issues in the kingdom of darkness. Some people, they dream that they, they were married and given certificate. Those are demonic certificates you receive it. Therefore, I burn that certificate in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I crush them into pieces. You see, you can be married, you have your wedding nice, but the enemy has taken your marriage. They have taken your husband. And you know, that spirit, the husband, they are very jealous. They can kill even your husband so that they can take over. Therefore, I command them to be destroyed. I send fire and thunder and thunder them in the name of Jesus. That's why you see many widows and even in Israel, there were so many widows. And God the Father is the father of the widows and single mothers. Therefore, I am standing against them. I'm standing against the spirit, husband, spirit, wife. That is, that is, that is taking over from your lady physical husband. I break them and I destroy them in Jesus' name. I break every blood and soul tie covenant with the spirit, the husband. I, I, I break them and I destroy them in Jesus' name. I am praying for you, women of God, mothers, single mothers and widows, mothers who are struggling with their marriage. I am praying for you right now. Receive your marriage. I break every blood covenant, blood soul tie. I break them and I destroy them in the name of Jesus. I pray that God of Abraham, God of Isaac, will connect you with your husband, with your powers. Your husband is coming. Your husband is on the way coming. God has ordained and prepared a man to marry you. That's why I'm telling you, be ready. Pre -pre prepare, yes. Prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Prepare. Hallelujah. This is the word I was given. Prepare yourself. The wedding is coming. God is going to restore back your marriage. God is going to give you back your children. You are going to be recognized in the name of Jesus. I send thunder, fire of God to burn to ashes. The children born to the marriage in the name of Jesus. Spirit children, I command them to catch fire in Jesus' name. There are children, maybe you see in the dreams that you, you pressed the children, press feeding children, you give birth to children, and these children, they are the children of the devil. In that marriage, you give children, the children, they take over your children. Your children cannot be happy when these satanic children are in with you. When you give birth to these satanic children, you know, during the time of Nu, the women, they were sleep, they sleep with the strange, the, the, the angels, satanic, the satanic people, and they gave birth to all, all of them. So God has to kill all of them because they were satanic children. They were not children. Therefore, I am standing against strange children, children born in the marriage, spiritual marriage. I command them to die, all of them. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Those strange children, children of the devil, that has taken over your children. I command those children to get out of your house. I burn them, I cut them off in Jesus' name. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let your children be blessed. Because you remember, the children, your children, let them be blessed and let them be delivered in Jesus' name. Every child of the devil that is taking over your children, let them be cut off into pieces in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God. I thank you, Father. Yes, I pray that God Almighty, let your spirit, let you, let you spirit the husband, tormenting your life and after marriage, I bind you with the chains, with the hot chains and feathers 
of God. And I cast you out, out of this person in the name of Jesus. I pray that every tormenting that you have been tormented by the demons, by the spirit, the husband, they have been tormenting you. I bind them. I cast them and I break them in Jesus' name. Yes, I want to thank God for your life. Mothers, be happy and rejoice. A appreciate yourself. Congratulate yourself. Even nobody's congratulating you, I am congratulating you and appreciating you. I love you. I love you. I thank you so much. You are the mother. Therefore, I give, I thank you and I love you. If nobody loves you, nobody talks to you, call me. I am here to appreciate you and, and, and thank you and be with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Yes, I praise God for you. God is good. God loves you. God loves you. Don't reject yourself. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. If nobody buys a card for you, buy yourself a card and appreciate yourself. From today, your life will change. You will see a lot of favor. Faith of God is going to fall upon you. You will start seeing cards coming on your way. You will start people appreciating you, being recognized. Like what happened? What happened to the Timoth when Paul appreciated the, the grandmother and, 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 and the mother of, of, of Timoth? That's what is going to happen. Somebody will reject you, will come to appreciate you. Some, 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 some men, they reject women so much. They don't recognize women. They will come and recognize you. Remember, Paul is the one who rejected women, who, who, who said, women, don't talk in the church. And it's the same Paul who, who recognized a woman. Therefore, mothers, you will be recognized. You will be known in the name of Jesus. Anybody that has been rejecting you, anybody that has disrespected you, the time has come when you are going to be dis recognized. In the name of Jesus, I thank God for your life. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful Mother's Day. Celebrate yourself. Go and get a cup of tea. Drink it and celebrate yourself. Tell yourself, thank you, God, to create me as a mother. Pity yourself. Say, God, thank you. I love me. I love me. I love me so much. You, you appreciate yourself. Go to the CD. Dance with God. Dance with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I know some, some people, it is now, the day is gone. But uh, uh, give thanks, God. Appreciate yourself. We honor mothers. Mothers, they should be honored. I thank you. I thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All my children all over the world, thank you for my mothers who are following me. Thank you. I love you so much. And I am here to celebrate with you. Call me. Give me your number. I will call you. Yeah, you are my family. I was talking with a man from states. This man needs somebody to love him and to talk to him. He's lonely. He's, he's, he's by himself. So I, I said, I said a message. I said, Yeah, I love you. Join us as a, our family. The man was so he felt good. Yeah, he didn't have anybody to say like that. Not that I, I love him in another way. I love him as a child of God, as one of, as, as a as a part of our family. So God, God loves you. So we need to talk to each other. We love each other. Let us join together and celebrate to, other, to, to each other. Thank you very much, friends. God bless you so much. I have to say bye-bye to you. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Saying bye-bye to you. And remember to go to our website, www dot overcomers d h ministries dot blogspot dot ca also i'm going to thank those everyone who have sent me a gift as their mother thank you for the flowers <laughs> i received a very wonderful gift thank you thank you i received a very good gift from german uh, my sister from german thank you so much i received your gift and I also thank you for the, the my dear sister. Uh, I have Deborah, Deborah from States. I got your gift, my dear sister Deborah. Thank you so many. I got so much gifts. I thank God because 
people have, have put, I am helping them and now they recognize me as their mother. Do you know I have adopted so many, so many children? Some, some children, they don't have mother. Let me tell you a small testimony before we go. When I came in this country, I think I've mentioned this before. I was working. I started with McDonald's because you have to start somewhere before you go anywhere. I worked in McDonald's and in the factory. The factory, that's where my God blessed me. That's where I was promoted. Now, when I was working in McDonald's, during my break time, I used to go with my Bible at the lobby and I was reading, praying there. So uh, some young people came there. They were like 25 years. I can't remember their age, but they were young, young people. They were looking at me. One day, that man, one of them came, they were a couple. They were, I think, boyfriend and, and girlfriend. They came to me and said, they asked me, I want you to become our mother. I thought they were joking. And then they said, I will, I will take care of you. I, I will be my mother, like my really mother. I said, why? I said, they told me, because we see you, you are humble, you read your Bible, and we have been watching you, we feel that we want to, to adopt you as our mother. I said, yes. And then these people, they started taking care of me. They started taking care of me. They started, and I became their mother. Yeah? Now they are living in states. I found out they moved and they have gone to states. And, and more, I have more children I have adopted. They just called me and said, we want you to be our mother. I said, okay. Because they don't have a mother. They don't have, they need a mother. They need somebody to talk to. So if you are looking for a mother, I am here. When I can adapt you with your children and they will be my grandchildren. So I am looking forward to, look, to take care of you. I didn't have my mother, but my sister was like my mother. So some, some of you, you, are, you can be like me. When people are thanking their mother, appreciating, you feel sad. Don't feel sad. So uh, there are many like you. They don't have their mother. They, but Jesus, Jesus is everything. Jesus loves you. God loves you. So you are a mother of somebody. Even if you don't have a mother, but you are a mother of somebody. So love yourself, appreciate yourself. I am a mother of so many children, even at the orphanage that I have. If, you, if some of you, you will visit my country and you see how many children I have. Here in Canada itself, I have so many children. And every, like today they are taking me out. They are wanting to treat me well. My son Dwin is here. My son David is here. My, my, my daughter in Rose. My children, they are here. They, they are prepared to take care of me today. I am like a little queen. Not a little queen. I will be like a queen. Really, they are serious. They are taking care of me. They will take me out and treat me well. So I'm, I'm ready for them. Treasure my, my sister, my daughter. She's here too. So many, many of you, they are here around me. My son William was telling me, I know your sons and your daughters will look after you. She's, he's jealous. But I said, I'm coming to you too. So save that. Now, I'm telling you that God is good. Love yourself and open door for others to have you as their mother. God bless you so much. Call me. Go to our website. Email me. Our email is overcomersdhm at gmail.com. Victoria, I'm going to adapt to you. 